Good evening, Karina Cavallo with ABC News. The Prime Minister has labelled the opposition leader a shallow populist after he declared the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement dead in the water. Bill Shorten says it's a waste of time pursuing the doomed trade pact, but Malcolm Turnbull is refusing to give up. Here's political reporter Jane Norman. Bill Shorten is back from holidays. And he's sharpened his message to voters. My focus this year is on standing up for Australian jobs. For Labor, it's all about Australian jobs. Labor's picked up on the global tide of populism and protectionism, and it's putting heat on the coalition's free trade agenda. The Trans-Pacific Partnership is dead in the water. Donald Trump has vowed to kill off the TPP. A potential disaster for our country. But Malcolm Turnbull is still pursuing the deal and wants Parliament to ratify it. Why on earth is Malcolm Turnbull taking us down a frolic on a treaty which the Americans are never going to sign? I've seen Bill Shorten out there trying to turn himself into a protectionist. Privately, the government's hoping senior Republicans in favour of free trade can convince Trump to change his mind. Historically, American presidents have been, have campaigned against free trade deals. President Obama did, President Clinton did, but then in office have generally supported them. If that fails, Australia could forge ahead with the other 10 countries to salvage what they can. The ambitious and controversial trade deal covers nearly 40% of the global economy and promises to deliver new markets for Australian beef, wheat and dairy. But critics argue it'll also allow foreign companies to sue the federal government if it makes decisions that harm their business. Labor supports free trade and, in principle, the TPP. But there's deep unease about the deal within sections of the party and across the union movement. So Bill Shorten's trying to avoid a potentially messy internal brawl by refusing to reveal how Labor will vote when the deal is debated in Parliament. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra.